Dozens were in attendance Sunday at the Sisters of St. Joseph's Social Justice Committee look to raise awareness on human trafficking and sexploitation. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres was at the event and tells us how social media can create a pathway to human trafficking. With social media sites becoming more and more a part of our world, some social agencies in Jefferson County say it's becoming easier to get addicted to, especially for younger generations. That is the feeling, that sense that people want to have over and over and over. And the clicks and the likes uh, is like crack on the, on the brain. An addiction that some say can open the doorway to a path of forced labor or sexual acts. A panel was put together Sunday from the Alliance for Better Communities, Safe Harbor, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, and local schools to discuss a direct connection between social media and human trafficking. The illusion of being safe. Here we are in the North Country. Well, that we have this insulation of safety and then I know my neighbors and I know my the people that I'm raising children with. It, it matters not in an online world we're living in. Detective Carrie Mangino with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department says the forms of payment can differ. It could be in the form of money, drugs, often vapes, cigarettes, alcohol. Mangino tells us that the grooming behaviors predators use may also vary. Give them monetary things, give them just love, give them some attention. Adding that social media makes it easier for these interactions to occur, the Coalition of Agencies conducted a 2022 Youth Internet Safety Survey with students between the ages of 13 and 15. It found that 66% of students reported coming across sexually explicit content and 51 reported receiving sexually explicit content. Sandy Torres, 7 News.